Hi, y'all. Hey, Look, guys. This was, my husband played this up oh so well. I said, honey, Thank we, we got to give y'all a bonus video today. I worked really, really hard on this. He really did, and I appreciate him. This is beautiful. Scrambled eggs, potatoes, and turkey sausage. I'm loving it. Let's, let's, let's go ahead okay. and bless this food. Thank you, Lord, for this food that we're about to receive to nourish and strengthen our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Get your fork. We're going to... Okay. Guys, this is going to be kind of like ASMR. You're just going to see the, the, the food. The food, yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> we, we're going to tuck down like this. Okay, guys, let us know who's in here. I want you to shout out who you are. Say hello. Okay. That's really good. That's good. Uh, a sausage. I like this red color that's in here. Mm hmm I love the seasoning. <laughs> you know what? Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you guys know that we pretty much eat the same thing every day? You guys notice that? Hey, Miss Angie. <laughs> this is a video to slowly get y'all nice and hungry. Mm-hmm. It's all about the food. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Hey, Auntie and Aunt. It's me. Hey, Stephanie. Hey. <laughs> mm. Honey, I've been working all day. And I said, let me eat something. I have eaten today, but this is my largest meal today. <laughs> mm hmm Well, how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all find this video in great health. We eat this pretty much every day. Mm-hmm. That's we the do. key to being healthy a little bit. If you know a meal that I'm talking about all my diabetics and stuff like that and mm. that does things healthy. Especially for our diabetics, right? If you find that something does not run your sugar up, pretty much keep eating that. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the reason why you take your sugar, right? Guys, do you know why you take your sugar after a meal? I call it this turkey sausage, but it's really a turkey burger. Mm, I know. Because <laughs> I didn't even put the seasonings in it to make it sausage. To make it sausage. Mm -mm. But it's still good. Yeah. The reason why... You're supposed to take your sugar after your meal, guys, is to know how the meal affected your sugar. Mm -hmm. If you know how the meal affected your sugar, then you know it's an approved meal. If your sugar goes way up, it's not an approved meal. No, it's mm. not. And that's basically, I've been doing that for years. Hello, everyone. Make sure y'all like the video. I've been doing this for so long. Basically, I know what to eat based on how my sugar digests. I mean, how my body digests it. Like, they say take it two hours later. Sometimes I'll take it 30 minutes after. Mm. Just to see how how, how much they shot my, my the sugar spike. up. How the big spike. the spike is. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the spikes is really what's bad. Mm. That's true. And the drops. Yeah, because people don't know. Even if you're not a diabetic, your sugar's going to spike anyway. I know y'all want to see our face, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, even if you're not a diabetic, your sugar's going to spike with every meal. Everyone's sugar spikes. Mm -hmm. Okay? So even you, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. if you have nothing but protein, your mm -hmm. sugar, it's, it's going to increase. Increase, uh-huh. Because I used to think... Yeah, somebody asked on these potatoes. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, they're potato. Sorry. There we go. There you go. Those are potatoes. Put your stool up. My stool keeps like... <laughs> Can you see me? Can you put it up? Okay, hold on. Let me switch stools. Yeah, even if you're not a diabetic, guys, the sugar is going to spike. So you want to know... How high it goes. Well, oh yeah. That's how you found out that you could have been pre-diabetic, right? Yeah. It's because you ate. What food did you eat that spiked your sugar? Oh, Be guys. Specific. You guys want to know what I had? Okay. Oops. Okay, here we go. I actually had, um, what was it? Like um, chicken tenders? No. No. I had pita chips. 
Okay, we're talking about two different times. Okay, okay. One time it was chicken wings with a glaze on it. It was like a sweet glaze. I was going to say french fries. It was french fries? Yeah. That's what I was trying to tell him, something that everybody eats. One of those meals. <laughs> yeah. Baby, okay. this is a cheat. You got to okay. be careful. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, it was one time. The last time, what was it? Was it pita or was it chicken wings? It was fries. That's what not I'm the talking last about. time. Was it? Okay. Well, the last time I had French fries and my my sugar went way up, and it was those French fries that had the batter on it. You know the kind of the fries that have batter. Well, fries on Fries in and of <laughs> itself, whether you make them at home or not, they're gonna spike your sugar up. I had mm. a video where I made homemade fries in my oven. Mm hmm. Of course, that's not as bad as deep fried, but it's the heat. Mm. The heat that you cook the the veg the um, potato in makes it carcinogenic. Mm. Makes it makes it bad. Okay. So that's why it's better to mm. steam your potatoes. Mm -hmm. So don't think that you can't have potatoes. You can have them, but you want to steam them so it's not going to run your sugar up as much. As much. Okay. But yeah, you can talk about the other thing that ran your sugar up too. Okay. Well, I had, you know, it's like buffalo wings, but they had a glaze to it. It was like a sweet honey sriracha or, or it was like a sweet, sweet sauce. And it just took my sugar up to 200. And somebody asked mm -hmm. what type of sugar we use. We don't use sugar. Mm-mm. Um, for the most part. Now, mm -hmm. I might have this little maple syrup, like, um... Log camp, it has a maple syrup with no, <laughs> no high fructose corn syrup. Mm-hmm. If I want to sweeten up like my sweet potatoes or sweeten up my sausage, make mm -hmm. like a maple sausage, I'll use that. Mm -hmm. But on a daily basis, we do not use any sugar. No so sugar. So I don't put any sugar in my tea. No sugar alternatives. No sugar alternatives. Mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar alternatives, guys, uh, if you don't know, are actually worse. And it's, except for this one, but I'm not quite sure. I haven't done the research on it. Was it trivia? Yeah, but I don't think that's a sugar. Okay, there's a difference between a sugar alternative and a sugar derivative. Mm, what's a, the difference? A sugar derivative can be a sugar alternative, mm -hmm. but definitely I don't. I don't like sugar derivatives. Those. And why don't you? Okay, sugar derivatives, guys, are okay. What they do is they take sugar, okay, and then they pull out all of the stuff. That's supposed to be really, really good about the sugar, mm -hmm. and then make it something else that's really sweet. So they, they kind of break it down, and when you disrupt the molecules like that, it's not good for you. Yeah, that's why those are worse. So like, what about sugar free? Sugar free? They'll uh, use what a sugar alcohol. Mm-hmm. Even if they say it's sugar free. Mm-hmm. Like you said, they use a sugar alcohol, so they use something in there as a sweetener. Mm -hmm. Like your sugar-free gums and things like that. I don't eat those anymore. Mm -hmm. I used to, but I don't anymore. They affect you as well. I just do my double mint gum, keep it moving with the real sugar. Real sugar is better. Mm -hmm. Hi, but um. If you ask Jenna and Andrew, real sugar is better. It's it's really better. It's just in moderation. Mm -hmm. Now, real sugar doesn't mean white sugar. Mm hmm. Okay. That white sugar. Mm. Now, you split that in half. Mm. This one? Yeah. Split it in half? Oh, okay. I'll hold it steady. There we go. Thank you. Because the thing about it is... Oh, your eyebrows are awesome slick. as usual. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Angela. <laughs> His, um, he think he's sick. Now, he can have most of the potatoes because Jenna's not supposed to have all them. He ain't supposed to have them all either. Let's just keep no, that all the way 100. <laughs> now, how do I season these um mm. these home fries? That's what we call them down south. Mm -hmm. Well, I put some onions in here, some orange and yellow peppers. Mm. Oh, if you're looking for something sweet to go in your meal, mm. excuse me, y'all. Do some orange and yellow peppers. They caramelize. It was so good. Very well. Mm-hmm. Now, orange and yellow peppers are not cheap. $9. They're very expensive. And where I'm from, they're expensive to me. To get six yellow peppers or six orange and yellow peppers mixed for $8.99 mm. is expensive. 
However, yeah. if you actually look at the nutrients and actually read the bag or look mm -hmm. them up, you will see it's so many good things in orange and yellow peppers. It's something we eat every day. We and do. And namely, <laughs> the most important thing in those peppers is mm -hmm. vitamin C. Mm. And vitamin C is very important, especially around this time of year, so you don't get sick. So. That's a good way of sneaking your vitamin C, right? A lot of people say eggs are really bad, like, if you eat them a lot because of the cholesterol. Mm hmm And, of course, you're supposed to do everything in moderation. Mm -hmm. But eggs have something in it called B6. Mm -hmm. B6 is very important. I was talking about this in my last video about anxiety. Anxiety really comes from the lack of the B6 and potassium. B6. Okay, B6 is something mm -hmm. that helps us relax. You'd be surprised. Like, if you're going around with anxiety, you eat something like some potatoes. Eat some potatoes. You'll you'll feel the anxiety come down. Okay, so the reason why I got anxiety is because I went so long without, I mean, many, 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 many years without many years. eating enough. <laughs> That is a number one cause is anxiety, the lack of eating enough meals per day. If you start eating correctly and eating your meals, your anxiety will start to subside. It's no cure. If you stop eating one day, it'll come back. But, you know, you, you, you hear the term comfort foods. What are comfort mm. foods? Nice warm foods, potatoes, mac good. and cheese. Comfort food. Mm. Um, pie, you know, <laughs> things like mm. that. It's called mm -hmm. comfort food. Mm -hmm. And they call it that because it does make you feel good. It gives you the itis. Mm -hmm. it, it slows down your heart rate a little bit. Makes you happy. Makes you sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. which in a little bit. Is good, but after a while, if you ingest too much of those comfort foods, then the weight will pack on, mm. um, and, and diabetes and high blood pressure and all that comes around. So you really no, need to, you know, be balanced in which, in what you, you know, eat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So every time we eat, it's really like a, a science project. We really like, okay, what do what we're going to eat today, I eat according to my activity level. So if I'm not doing anything that day, I'm not going to eat potatoes. If it's my rest day, mm -hmm. I'm not going to eat a whole bunch of carbs. Carbs, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because all it's going to do is sit in my stomach and raise my sugar. So, on, you know, if you it's have a very... energy that you're, you're not using. Right. And it's mm -hmm. going to store it as fat. Yeah. Your body is going to store it as fat if you don't burn it off. Well, that's what insulin is supposed to do, help your body store the food that you eat or the sugars mm -hmm. as fat. Mm -hmm. But if your body's so used to insulin, it just becomes resistant. Well, you're talking about something totally different. That's totally different. But let's get back to this glucose thing. Okay, not glucose, um, the sugar <laughs> thing. Um, we can't forget about high fructose corn syrup. Okay. Nothing in here has high fructose corn nope, syrup. Nope, nope, uh-uh. Usually the foods that we cook at home... Fresh oh, out of your refrigerator. Good point, good point. Does not have high fructose corn syrup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When you get into high fructose corn syrup land, is when you start getting out foods and processed foods. Because high fructose corn syrup is a, what is it? Isn't it a food I mean, you can't, you can't really go to the grocery store and purchase high fructose corn syrup. Mm -mm. I mean, you can't just go to the grocery store and say, and, and, and find it next to the box of sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Here. Oh, thank you. Yep. Yeah, no, high fructose corn syrup, let's break it down, guys, okay? If you guys don't know, it's called high fructose corn syrup. Look for it on well, all your processed sweet stuff, okay? High fructose corn syrup, okay? So it's called, it's, it comes from corn, okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not from sugar. Corn it's, is bad. Yeah, it comes from corn. Corn and is horrible. Corn is a vegetable, right? It is a horrible vegetable. But why is there fructose it's a and corn? It's starchy vegetable. I can't even eat mm. popcorn without it mm. raising my sugar. Anybody, I mean, like, if you're watching our videos mm. and say, let me hurry up and get a little thing of popcorn, mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to be like, oh, when you mm. hear this part. Because it's like <laughs> popcorn mm. is the enemy. I'm going to tell you, because mm -hmm. it goes straight to sugar, especially if you're diabetic. And the reason why they use it, it's because it's sweeter than regular sugar. That's why corn is so And it lasts long. It, it, cheap. Mm-hmm. You can get a whole thing of popcorn for $2 mm -hmm. 
And like yeah. five of them darn kernels make you two bowls. It's just <laughs> cheap. Anything <laughs> like that, that, you know, it is something that helps you with, mm -hmm. you know, your hunger. But check your sugar afterwards. I remember eating a whole bunch of popcorn. You can start a popcorn business. It's so we cheap. were walking around the mall. <laughs> Remember? Mm hmm I was walking and eating salty popcorn. Oh, wow. Go ahead. And oh, you want me to eat the rest good. of this? You yeah, don't want any more? I don't want any more. Okay. So you want me to eat the rest and of this? And me, being the person I am, I went home and I tested my sugar. And you, you know my sugar was 390. Off of a bag of popcorn. 390. And if you want to know. That she didn't finish. How I got that down within uh, 10 minutes. Comment under this video and I will tell you how I got that down mm. in 10 minutes. But 390. So, and don't think that I feel like I'm cured. I'm not. At mm. any time, mm. if I went back and I went to my bad ways, <laughs> I can have 102 today and I can have 390 tomorrow due to what I've eaten. And I am not a small girl. Mm-mm. I am 229 pounds. Hello, how are you? Guys, if you want to know right now. You do now, not have to be skinny super to have good glucose. And Super Chat, whatever nope. you like. Okay, it could be $2. Super Chat, just let us know how serious you are about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't have to be skinny. <laughs> and mind you, I do not take any, I don't take any medicine.